Hey. Hey, you're home. Yep. Sydney and Mike. Ah, uh, she's out like a light. It's oh, a shame. I must have to her in. Yeah, well, she's uh Come here. tired. She's tired? Yeah. She had a big night? She did have a big night. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't her. It was uh it was me. She senses things, you know, when I when I'm upset. Well, why are you upset? What happened? Hope stopped by. Did she? Mm -hmm. She come to drop off a wedding gift? No. She oh. asked a bunch of questions about you and Stefano. But don't worry, I didn't say a word. Good girl. You know, you never did tell me where your father went. <clears throat> He's gone away for a little bit of some medical treatment, but that's between you and me, okay? Yeah. Okay, we've established that. That everything in this house is one big secret. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Mm. No. Shh, listen. Silence. We're alone. Just you and me. <sighs> hmm? My father's gone. Mary has the night off. I wonder what we should do with this amazing opportunity. <laughs> well, what did you have in mind? Oh, I have something. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting? Uh -huh. yeah. Well, maybe we should go and give it away. What do you think? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll just lock the door. So is this where you were tonight, huh? You and Samantha have a nice little visit. So you were with Sammy. I don't want to talk about anything or anyone except you and me. Could you at least tell me what's in this envelope? Sure. Brochures for preschool. You can have a look if you want to. Quickly. No, I uh, just don't understand why okay, you have to go stop. all the way over there for... All right. <sighs> look at me. Close your eyes. What? Just close your eyes. Good. Now. <laughs> I want you to think about lying on a beach. Sun just falling into the horizon. The water slapping at your toes. A warm wind caresses your body. Just you and me and all the time in the world. I like that fantasy. Now think about me just slowly pushing you into the sand. And you feel my weight on top of you. You feel my lips on your neck. And on your cheek.
EJ. Are you okay? You went pale all of a sudden. Yeah. It's nothing. It's not important. Something's bothering you. Please tell me what it is. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. You didn't answer my question. Because I don't particularly wish to talk. Come on, come on, let it go. All right, there's nothing to worry about. Okay, when you say that, it makes me worry more. Look, if something's wrong, whatever it is, we can deal with it together. No, we can deal with it together because it doesn't concern you. Okay, this is none of your business. What? Do you think that just because we're married, we can't have any private thoughts or concerns? Really? Do you want to be one of those pathetic couples that are joined at the hip where we share every single emotion and tell each other where we're going? Sorry, that sounds torturous to me. Are you done? I am done, but are you? I mean, you're about to turn this into some kind of full-blown argument. You seem to be itching for it. That's the last thing I want is an argument. One Eugene. second, sorry. One second. Sorry. I gotta take this. Fine, I'll go check on Sydney. All right. Hey, what do you want? Hey. <clears throat> you okay? I'm good. Come here. Some familiar. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. It's one of my father's associates here to see this. I'll check it out. Do you have to do with it? Oh, I should. It's kind of important. EJ, let it wait. And yet... What? Forget it. No, come on. What? No, it's just what? gonna make what? you angry. If it's about me unburdening myself, and yes, it is gonna make me angry. We've already established that. I know, I know, okay? I said forget it. Forget it? No, I'm the one who's forgetting it. You don't seem to be able to forget it. I still, I, this just doesn't feel right. I mean, not, not, not this, not making love to you. Just that you refuse to, to even give me a clue what you and your father are doing. Look, you knew what you were getting yourself into when you met me. You, when you got involved with this family. Yeah, but I'm not just involved with you or this family anymore. I'm your wife. It's okay. You're my wife. Let me tell you something. 
when I met you, one of the things that that I loved about you the most, one of the things that drives me the mad est of everything, is you're independent. Okay. Who guy is going to tell you what to do? EJ, <laughs> what does that have to do with explaining why I need a bodyguard? Or why Stefano suddenly left the building, or why awful things are, are happening that are putting my life and our daughter's life in jeopardy. I need, I need answers. Or do you plan on just leaving me in the dark? That's exactly what I plan to do. And, uh, if you can't accept that, then this marriage is going to fail.